There aren't too many releases left on Hollywood's calendar for them to strike it big, and outside of Deadpool and Wolverine and Inside Out 2, there have been very few W's for the wider industry to pick up this year, but Wicked could be one of those uh, outside opportunities for a different demographic to what I and more than likely you are accustomed to dealing with for them to make some cash. I don't know how big Wicked is going to be, could make a billion, I would be very shocked if it did, but it wouldn't be a complete knock me on my ass, give me a grade three concussion shock. Could it make 500, 600 million dollars? Very likely, it's at a point in time where there's not a lot of competition out there. It's a movie for an underserved demographic and only women who like musicals. So yeah, there's a possibility of some money being on the table, but then you see a major star, one of the leading quote unquote ladies out there and attack the fans ooh normally that doesn't reflect well and it hasn't in recent years when marvel or marvel stars star wars actors in that ilk ends up attacking the fans and that ends up reflecting well on them the groups that are out and likely to go see wicked in the theaters they end up getting attacked by one of the stars oh they're going to take that personally and especially over something that is just so silly fan edited wicked poster removed cynthia ervo's eyes and how she's seeing red i mean not the most egregious thing that a company has ever done or hell even a fan has done with a poster hell normally you just have the actors actresses or any of the characters posed in different positions some of them might be more provocative some of them might be more action-packed or something like that, but nothing will ever take the cake from what Disney did with The Force Awakens, how they diminished a John Boyega's film, or Finn on the poster, moved him around, shrunk his visage for China, or when they released Black Panther back in 2018, was that? Yeah, put a mask on T'Challa. Nothing will ever get that egregious, but apparently for Cynthia Ervo, or Evo, yeah, I don't know, idiot broad-shouldered idiot when a fan at it to a poster well that's just a bridge too far cynthia Erivos, okay who's a wicked movie hits theaters next month so times for thanksgiving well you'd think that somebody would potentially have a little bit more thanks to go around but no has spoken out against a fan edited film poster that resembles the poster for the broadway show i beg your pardon there's a fan edit to make your movie poster. Okay, looking at the movie poster that's right there. They made it a little bit more closer to the source material poster. And that's what you're big mad about because here we have it right here. Okay, so discussing film, Sir, uh, Cynthia Erivo has reacted to viral edits of the Wicked poster. And here's her comments. In Oh, this is the wildest, most offensive thing I have seen. What a sheltered life you live. Just somebody with the, the smudge tool. And then you also give yourself, or I'm sorry, give the character green lips. Okay. I'm sorry, change him from green to red. My mistake. Equal to that awful AI of us fighting. Equal to people posing the question, is your box green? Yeah, that's a, that's a old ass meme. That was an old meme from the Broadway stage play from back in the cut. But if you knew about that all the way back in the day, why did you accept the role? Oh, because you're a professional victim. That makes sense. None of this is funny. None of this is cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. Yeah, because it's all about you first, huh? The original poster is an illustration. I am a real life human being who chose to, to, to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. Our poster is an homage, not an imitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes is to erase me. And that is just deeply hurtful. Yeah, it's so deeply hurtful to go ahead and change you to look more like the original poster, which is actually drawn by a real life artist. It's a much better poster to be completely honest, because this just looks like generic slop. Because you remove the branding and it's like, is that somebody's holiday or somebody's Halloween party? Is, is that what we're supposed to be made aware of? Okay. But outside of the original trailer with some horrific auto tuning, this is the most damage that has been done to this upcoming movie, which might be massive. 
But I think this attack on fans in just such a silly way is going to end up doing more damage and potentially hurt the film at the box office because anybody who's making fan edits of posters, which fan edits and viral marketing using said fan edits, said fan engagement, which studios want more than an invitation to a ditty party. Like, they can't buy that in today's day and age. And you have your lead actress shit on the fans? Yo, you got a big problem out there. A fan posted a TikTok video that compares the two posters and shows the edits being made. Erivo, who plays the green-skinned witch, yeah, a fell about, whatever. She's supposed to be the Wicked Witch of the West, okay? Like, this is a, a musical spin on The Wizard of Oz? Okay. Yeah, based on the Wicked Witch of the West from the classic Oz movie. Yeah, as given smirking red lips and darker shadow over her eyes and the wide-brimmed uh, witch's hat, Glinda, you know, played by Ariana Grande, who we'll hear of, and she looks, well, even it, like, you can see her right there, like, what happened to her? She looks even more plasticky and fake than usual yeah whister uh, i'm sorry whispers into a falba elephant's ear in the poster her hand is moved higher but no changes are made to her hair or face oh, okay that's interesting you want to celebrate diversity but then we, then you want to point out when things are not equally held back makes sense makes sense this is the wildest most offensive thing i've ever seen yeah yeah and then she goes into her screed which is so silly the original uh yes the original wicked musical is one of the longest running shows on broadway or er, in broadway history opening in october of 2003 and still running today based on 1995 novel of the same name which is retelling the story of the wizard of oz in a revisionist light and one of the earliest examples of actually the irredeemable villain is just misunderstood so it's more tripe and quite possibly patient zero for disney making all of those awful remakes you know trying to recontextualize cruella de Vil is just being a poor girl that had her mom killed by a bunch of ravenous Dalmatians. I wish I was making that up. Or having the awful Aunt Angelina Jolie tell the misunderstood story of Maleficent. You know, the evil witch who turns into a dragon and tries to kill the prince simply trying to save Sleeping Beauty. You know, just all of those misunderstood characters. Right. But then you have Ariana Grande coming out and, you know, giving her two cents on the story. You know what? Good for her. At least she's going to bat for her star more than Gal Gadot did for Rachel Zegler. That's infinitely hilarious when you think about it, how she's just letting her twist in the wind. Uh, Ariana Grande weighs in on Cynthia Arrivo's criticism of fan-edited Wicked poster and, and not safe... Yeah, not safe for work meme, you know, is your is your box green. A joke that has been around well before your movie has come and gone from the theater. I find AI so conflicting and troublesome sometimes. There you go. Way to deflect. Ariana Grande is weighing in on her wicked co-star uh, Cynthia Erivo's recent slam of fan, er, fan edited wicked poster and AI content. The poster released by Universal was tweaked by a fan to mimic the original Broadway poster by lowering Afalba's witch's hat to covering Erivo's eyes. In addition to the poster, Erivo called out an AI generated animation which features yeah, the other poster morphing into a fight between the two stars as their wicked characters. Yeah, more fan art. Did, there was a point in time where studios wanted as much of that as possible. I think it's very complicated because I find AI so conflicting and troublesome sometimes, no, but I think it's just kind of such a massive adjustment period. Grande told me exclusively at the Academy Museum Gala Saturday in Los Angeles. Obviously the author, I wouldn't talk to that dipstick. Uh, this is something that is so much bigger than us and the fans are going to have fun and make their edits. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what, do, what did you think about your co-star's comment? AI is funny and we love we love fan art. Oh, okay, cool. I understand. This is one of those weird situations where the former Disney star actually has smarter things to say. Very, very odd. When it was suggested that sometimes things go too far, Grande said, I think so, and I have so much respect for my sister Cynthia. You don't really look like sisters. And I love her so much. It's just a big adjustment period. So, uh, so much simulation or stimulation about something that's so much bigger than us. Well handled. Okay. Revo blasted the fan edited poster in the AI generated video on Wednesday in an Instagram story. She also also criticized the is your box green meme uh, that have long circulated around the musical this is the wildest most offensive thing that i have seen equal to the awful ai of us fighting 
None of it's funny. None of it's cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. Yeah, I mean, so does that septum piercing, but hey, you did it anyways. Universal and director John M. Chu have adapted the Wicked Broadway musical into a two-part movie, the first of which arrives in theaters in November, and the second one, who actually gives a shit on that one. Supporting film cast includes Michelle Yeoh, because, you know, whenever Hollywood needs an Asian, she's always the first one that they call. Jonathan Bailey, Jeff Goldblum? Really? And Bowen Yang. Oh, the gay guy from Saturday Night Live. Oh, I should be more specific. The Asian gay guy who also equally takes offense about everything. I'm surprised he hasn't offered his two cents on this. But yo, exceedingly rare. Ariana Grande W. Simply taking the higher road on this. But yo, actors and actresses getting mad at fan art. People so looking forward to your production that they're taking time out of their day to express their fandom. It is something that has been going on for a very, very, very long time. And like I said before, it is something that studios would pay to get out there and stuff that they do. Just take a look at all of the bot accounts on social media. And then to have your idiot star make it all about themselves, take it in the most uncharitable way possible best of luck on opening night to dealing with or reviews or a potential bomb you're definitely going to need it with her in the fold with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone